Hi everyone, my name is uh, Gab. I work at Atlanta Legal Aid with Kristen. Um, and what I'm going to show you is how to use a quick start kit that includes a PowerPoint and an MP3 file to make your own video. And so this is the Legal Aid Attorney's Guide to Medicare Savings Programs. And you can see there's an example video that I posted that shows what the video looks like um, when it's completed and put together. Um, so after you've downloaded the uh, customizable, customizable PowerPoint template and MP3 audio file, um, you can start customizing for your own organization. So I have already downloaded the PowerPoint template. So here it is. Um, the customizable templates uh, have been created so that they are uh, generic, uh, except in places where there are red brackets. Um, so what you would do is you would come in here, customize this with your information, and you'll see here that everything here is generic about Medicare savings programs until you get down to which agency administers Medicare savings programs. Um, and in the audio, uh, it will say uh, that Medicare savings programs are administered by state-specific uh, Medicaid or social services agencies. So while that audio is, is on the screen, um, you'll be showing what your specific state's agency is. So in Georgia, it's defects. And then there are only a couple more places in this template uh, where things are specific. Again, here I would replace this red bracketed text with defects um, and or in person at the defects office. Lastly, um, you'll customize with your organization uh, a TIG grant, perhaps if you're being funded by a TIG grant, and then the, the folks who worked on producing the video. So what you'll do after you customize all of these um, slides is you will save these as pictures. Um, and I forgot to mention um, there are step-by-step -step instructions for what I'm doing right now um, available in the help guides. So I'll save these as pictures. You'll see it's created a folder here on my desktop where these pictures are located. So now we're through with the, the PowerPoint portion. I have opened a, a project in iMovie and created a new project. The how-to guide uh, includes a, an older version of iMovie. I'm using a more updated version of iMovie, uh, but things are basically the same in these two versions. So the first thing that you'll do is add your customized slides to the project. So I'm selecting all of them here. I'm just going to drag them down below into iMovie. And then, they seem to be very tiny. Um, the next thing I'll do as you can see here, as I'm scrolling over these, there's kind of a, a Ken Burns effect where it's zooming in. Um, and the best way to present these slides is to have a, a view where it's just fit in the screen. So see, I've highlighted all of the photos. I'm going to click on uh, the, the style here for cropping and select fit. And that'll apply to all of them. So now you'll see if I'm scrolling over these, they're all fit in the screen. They're not moving around. Uh, I like to add transitions between my slides. And the easiest way to do that in this instance is to go to Settings right here and click Automatic Content. So what that will do is that will insert a cross-dissolve transition uh, in between all of the slides. You can kind of see what that looks like here as I'm scrolling over these. Uh, we don't need a cross dissolve at the very beginning, um, so I'll delete that. 
you'll be asked if you want to turn off automatic titles and transitions. You'll say yes. Um, and you can change the length of the transition between slides by double clicking it. Um, we'll say half a second for each of these transitions. And then by clicking apply to all, you've got all your transitions the length that you want them. The next thing that you need to do is change the duration of all of the slides uh, before you add the MP3 file. The reason you, you want to do that is because when you add the MP3 file, uh, regardless of the length of uh, the recording, it will cut off wherever your image is cut off. And so to um, compensate for that, we want to be extra generous and change the timing on all of these to about 30 seconds. So you click up here, you'll highlight all the, all the clips, go to clip information here, and set the duration for 30 seconds. So now you can see that all of these slides now are set at 30 seconds. So this is the point where you're going to add your MP3 file that you've downloaded. You'll just drag it here into iMovie and align it with the start. And the next thing that you'll need to do, um, you can see on the MP3 file that there are uh, distinct sections of audio. Um, and there's enough space between each of these sections where you can see where a slide is supposed to end. So what you'll do in order to align all of these slides with the corresponding audio is simply select the slide, click and drag it, and align it with the beginning and end of that specific audio. Um, and of course you'll want to um, test this um, for, for each slide to make sure everything is aligned the way you want it. Uh, but eventually, you will have uh, your slides synced up with your audio. Um, I personally, go to the end here, I personally like to end my videos with a fade to black transition. So I'll highlight that, go up to transitions, Instead of using the cross dissolve, I'll drag down a fade to black. I'll delete the cross dissolve first, rather. Drag down a fade to black, and you can see that once that video is over, it's going to fade to black. Now, if I had adjusted all of these slides to correspond with the audio, uh, the audio and the slides would be ending at the same time. So once you've gone through um, and aligned all of the audio with the slides, uh, you're finished. Uh, it's, it's really as simple as that for putting the PowerPoint slide and the, and the audio together. Um, so in order to create this into a video, you will go to File, go over, uh, click over Share, and save it to a file. So I'll, I'll name mine Medicare Savings Programs. So it'll ask me where I want to save it. I'll save it to the desktop. You can see up here that my video is going to be processing here. Uh, I can also point out back here on ShareLaw Video that if you would prefer to re-record the transcript um, yourself so that you can specifically talk about your agency's uh, uh, social service agency, um, or your state social service agency, rather, you can download the transcript. You'll have everything available there, and you can record the MP3 yourself and then add that in. Um, does anyone have any questions at this point about putting a PowerPoint and an MP3 player together in iMovie? So how long does that uh, syncing up of the slides to the audio take? Um, how how long do you think you could go from downloading all of this content to actually uh, having a video to review? Um, once you get a little bit more familiar with, with the process, um, and you, um, or just, you don't need to refer to the instructions as much, 
Um, I'd say you could get from download to video in as little as, as 15 minutes. Um, maybe 20 if you want to make sure that everything syncs up perfectly. Um, so it really is a very quick process. Um, it's largely a, a visual process, just making sure that everything lines up um, and then testing it out and tweaking it um, to, to your specifications. And you can see here that my video is complete. We'll go to the desktop. Now I have an MP4 file. And this video will review the most there you go. There's the audio legal aid to and know about the title card. Programs. What are Medicare savings And the programs? video and Medicare savings the audio is syncing up. Are needs-based programs that help look. Any other questions? Uh, which version of iMovie are you using? This is version 10.1.2. Okay. So this is the I new version that just recently came out? I downloaded this about a month ago. Okay. I don't believe there's another update, but there may be. I honestly haven't checked. Okay. Thank you.